Hope has been lost a long time ago. Humanity itself is on the brink of its own extinction. Godzilla has been reigning on the Earth for 20,000 years without any interference of the human race. And upon returning to the Earth, humanity finds that such a time period has already elapsed. Some sort of pseudoscience black hole shit has occurred. Seriously guys, it's weird, but apparently it's part of the plot as far as I understand it. Now the same guy who was with the last of the humans when they escaped the Earth is now returning back to it with the aim of destroying Godzilla. So only like a decade has passed for them at max. So their technology and their weaponry aren't much different from what they were before they left Earth. So I propose to you this question. How in hell are they going to destroy Godzilla? He already chased them off of their own home planet. A day, apparently, where all the world's armies couldn't handle the kaiju monster. And civilization as we knew it was destroyed. So it's weird to me that this main character of the film thinks he can have a chance against the monster now, especially when the vast amount of humanity is gone. So here's what I'm wondering. What if this, what if the main character decides to attempt to destroy the entire planet just to get rid of Godzilla? Perhaps even a suicide mission of his own. We know that his emotions are strung high as Godzilla murdered his parents. So maybe this is his final hurrah to where he decides that if humans can't have the planet, neither can the kaiju monsters. I imagine a scene where the humans are drilling massive holes into the earth, sending down it powerful beams to the core, igniting a fusion that causes all the volcanoes in the world to erupt, earthquakes to occur, hurricanes, tsunamis, and all the horrid environmental dangers of this planet. Most likely vegetation has encompassed most of the earth, seeing how the humans have been gone for such a long time. What if now they decide to burn it all down? They start spraying napalm all over the forestry, igniting the entire globe in flame. Perhaps if they can destroy the Earth, Godzilla then will go down with it. Now it might not be a suicide mission if this is what they do. It might be out of the concern that Godzilla is just going to keep growing. So even if they do escape to another planet, eventually Godzilla will make it there. So this will be their effort of getting rid of him, even if it costs them the Earth itself and they'll have to find another planet to inhabit yet again. It's a pretty wicked sort of plot line to imagine, but it very well might be the case. And I'm not gonna lie, it would add for some interesting source material. But what do you guys think? Imagine yourself in a world where you have to come to these decisions. What if Godzilla continually was growing and you theorized that eventually he would not only take over the planet, but start taking over other planets as well? Some sort of environmental monstrosity of a natural disaster on a universal scale. It's frickin' whack to think about. But what would you do? Let me know in the comment section below. And like this damn video. If you haven't yet, I am the Iceman. More videos to come.